Time for our ETF spotlight. Today, Mike Santoli is taking a look at the U.S. dollar moving higher after President Trump slammed the Fed over the weekend and expressed concerns about a strong greenback last night. It looked like he was going to get his wish. That's right, Again, yeah. it's not so much. Dollar is not cooperating, at least right now, with what the, what the president wants. Look at an ETF, the UUP. This is the uh, Invesco uh, DB bullish dollar uh, index. Basically, tracks U.S. dollar index futures. This is a five-year look. So I thought it made sense to give a look at the longer-term <laughs> range that the dollar has been trading in and it has really been a range yes we're at the upper end of it uh, lately but we're certainly not at new, new highs from a, a couple of years ago we also have a look at the same ETF uh, from the election so from the date uh, of the 2016 presidential election and interestingly we're about flat I mean you've had a, obviously a little bit of an uptick right after the election then we declined uh, and now we're, we're right back near those highs but net net it hasn't necessarily uh, been as if the dollar has been a major headwind for the U.S. economy. Obviously, this goes along with the president's criticism of Fed Chair Powell for raising interest rates and essentially uh, trying to perhaps uh, maybe slow or moderate the growth of the economy, Sarah. So it's kind yeah. of interesting that um, it's, it's still getting targeted as a potential villain. Of course, most presidents don't actually want to or confess to wanting a, a weak dollar. True. But I will say, to the president's credit, a lot of companies who reported earnings this season did complain about the strength of the dollar. Absolutely. and and. I mean, we saw companies like Coke where it really slashed some of the outlook. So when it comes to the company views, they take a shorter term horizon. And they mention it mostly when it's been a net negative. <laughs> negative. Right. Um, yeah, no, all, no, all never fair. Hear it as a positive. And, and I, I do think that it's, it's probably true if, if the point was, look, the economy would be that much stronger if, in fact, we didn't have higher rates and a stronger dollar. Perhaps that's the case. But it's not as if um, the dollar has been uh, soaring to new highs and therefore that's been... Uh, somehow a major swing factor for what the economy has been up to.